Welcome to day six of my 30 day security challenge, the month long challenge I created to help you gain control of your privacy and security online. You can follow along with the security challenge via my blog at snubsy.com where you can skip ahead or download the checklist of the challenge. Each of these videos will also be curated into a playlist so it will be easy to follow along with from day one all the way through 30 here on YouTube. Today is more of an educational breather that requires very little physical effort from you. All you gotta do today is turn off your Bluetooth, your NFC, and your Wi-Fi anytime you are not using them and only turn them on whenever you absolutely need to. So first off, what are these? Bluetooth, NFC, and Wi-Fi when related to your smartphone or laptop are ways that we allow other devices to connect to our phone or PC. So for example, Bluetooth portable speakers, they use Bluetooth to connect to your phone so you can play music. A friend's phone might use NFC to pass their contact details over to your phone so you don't have to type in those details. And wireless, as you probably already know, allows your phone to get onto the internet via Wi-Fi instead of using your cell phone carrier data plan. Each of these is super convenient in itself because they require very little hassle to use, but that also means that each of these has vulnerabilities that might make them hackable. So first, let's look at Bluetooth. First of all, Bluetooth is used for a multitude of devices these days. While different updates to Bluetooth offer upgraded security or encryption techniques, I find it much easier to just turn off Bluetooth altogether to keep myself from being hacked. Recently, security researchers wrote about a vulnerability called Blueborn that would allow an attacker to connect to your smartphone through Bluetooth even if your smartphone was already connected to another device like a Bluetooth speaker. Luckily, Google and Apple are pretty good about sending out updates for stuff like this, but if you have an older cell phone or one on a cell phone carrier that's slow to update, you could be out of luck if you depend on that update to keep you safe. So your best bet is to go into your settings app and find Bluetooth under connected devices or connection options and just turn it off completely. Under Bluetooth options, you may have an additional setting that talks about improving location services by continually scanning for Bluetooth items around you. You can also turn off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning options if you don't mind a slight slowdown whenever you're using apps that require location data from your phone, like your maps, for example. Next, you wanna turn off NFC. So NFC stands for Near Field Communication and it allows your phone to exchange data with other devices by tapping it against that other device. Which also means that if someone wants to hack your phone via NFC, all they would have to do is bump against your phone to exchange data. So basically just turn it off via the same settings menu via settings, NFC under connected devices section. Now lastly is Wi-Fi. Obviously, you probably use wireless at your work or your home, but you really don't need to keep this turned on when you are out and about. You might want to use that open Wi-Fi at the coffee shop or your favorite store while shopping the dollar section under that big red bullseye. I know I do, but open Wi-Fi or shared public Wi-Fi also means that anyone else is on that Wi-Fi. Other shoppers with vulnerable phones, the store's IT department, or bum bum bum, a criminal. Sure, we all wanna use Wi-Fi wherever we go because the price of cell phone data plans is expensive, but while connecting to open Wi-Fi might seem like a good idea if it's just this once, you really don't know if just this once is going to turn into someone stole my data and is now holding it ransom unless I pay them $300. Alongside this is another scary feature of Wi-Fi. You know how your phone automatically connects whenever you go home? It auto-connects because it recognizes that wireless network so it's convenient to just connect to it instead of you manually doing it every time because that would be annoying, right? An attacker could take advantage of this and force your phone to auto-connect to a fake wireless network. You may think that you're connecting to German pub free Wi-Fi, which sounds totally legit, but it's actually an attacker creating a fake German pub free Wi-Fi network. So an easy way to tell is if you ever connect to Starbucks Wi-Fi or a GoGo in-flight while you aren't anywhere near a Starbucks or an airplane, chances are that was not a legit Wi-Fi network. Trust me on this, my company literally built the hardware on this. So there is a setting on your phone to turn off auto connect options. Disable the connect to open networks option and in your list of saved Wi-Fi networks, hold down or click on any names that are not owned by you or your workplace and just simply click 
forget. Assume that any saved wireless networks that are from airplanes or airports or coffee shops or stores or doctor's offices or public networks are insecure and they should just be forgotten by your phone. And in the future, never ever connect to those, even if just for a bit. If you absolutely have to, I will discuss how to bypass some of the insecurities in a future video. Okay, so you are officially done with day six and you just did some really important updates to security and privacy for wireless protocols on your phone. You can take this a step further by also turning off those options on your computer, your tablet, your e-reader, or your music player. Tomorrow we are going to chat about antivirus and malware detection apps and software. But first make sure to subscribe on YouTube and hit up snubsy.com for the downloadable checklist. And if you want to skip ahead on the 30 day security challenge, you totally can do so as well. Again, I'm Shannon Morse and I will see you tomorrow for day seven.